Hello guys, welcome. You are watching Technology Welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to terminate iCloud permanently from any Apple device. Today, one customer brought this iPhone 4 for unlock this iCloud activation lock. So, I was unlocking guys, so I decided to record on my monitor. So, Simple procedure you have to execute might be assistful for you if you have the facing, yeah, if you have a good in iPhone device, if it's in a stolen mode, yeah, if it's linked with the Apple ID and password and it's asking to enter, yeah, it's locked with the activation of iCloud, yeah. If it's stuck in in any way, similar procedure you have to execute guys. As I show you. So here I am facing the problem of activation log. I would like to show you. When my data cable, when I connect from my phone to PC, here it's showing. Let's see on now. This is iTunes, guys. Fine. This is iTunes. Here. See. Fine. Now see. Assessing iTunes store. Here, I am facing this problem. Here, this phone is a link to an Apple ID and password. So, it's asking guys, this phone is a link to the Apple ID. So, we have to enter the Apple ID and password. That's what used to set up this phone. So, I don't know whose phone is this, but we have to terminate. We have to remove this here. And we have to go for new creation as a phone. So, we are unable to access the iTunes also, guys. So, here, this is a manual process with the help of a computer. So, I have been unlocking, guys, so many phones yeah, by a similar strategy. So, I assure you 100% you will be able to, 99% is you will get a positive result. Of course, you will be able to get a good corollary too terminate iCloud of any Apple device but at the present time we have Apple this of one customer who brought so let's see how we will do so for it guys firstly I have to I have to come on to verify that hardware is normal or not of this device so just I will minimize it once again I would like to confirm you guys see here when I disconnect and when I connect here now let me minimize let me minimize it now see guys it's a showing here fine this video will be lengthy guys but this is a highly assistful video so now see this is a link to it so I have to terminate here so any kind of the issues related to iOS of any Apple device guys, similar procedure you have to execute, whatever that is the iPhone is linked with the Apple ID, yeah, if it's a stuck mode, yeah, if it is on a lost mode, various kind of issues can be solved by a similar strategy, so just I will minimize it and I will come on a iTools. This is a software guys, by virtue of we can address the all kind of issues, that is, in a hardware yeah, in a software. So, in a hardware, guys, see, battery may be changed. So, of course, battery has been changed. There is no doubt because this software is uh, saying informations and uh, this is a motherboard info. That is also abnormal. So, might be something problem there. But as we know that, this is a uh, linked with when I enter, when I switch on this phone, so it's asking to enter Apple ID and password because this is a uh, linked with the specified Apple ID so both is abnormal but however we will try to determine let's see so now we have to come on a tiny umbrella guys firstly because we have to extract the all the all the old data that is available and because of due to having to this phone is linked with specified Apple ID so tiny umbrella is very important guys here to extract the, all the data because there is a vital role of a tiny umbrella to extract here fast the whole old data so 
just I will come first of all on three tools. See, this is the basic information here. It's also connected. This is iPhone 4, 16 GB, and this is a version 7.1.2. Show. See, guys, what you have to do? Just we have to come on the flash. In flash, just you have to come on a Fimba. You have to click here and see these green signs. We have one. This is for flash. So just you have to download. I have already downloaded, guys, because it's approximately one GB. So according to iOS, if you are using iOS 12s, 11s, then their size is a difference, guys. So here, this is one point one two GB. So this one I have. I have to download, but I have already downloaded. So just to simply I have to come on Easy Flash and. This data I have manually imported here because if you download guys here will be uh, two options we will have one download and one is import so we can uh, I actually have imported manually because this one I have saved here just I would like to show you for your surety just to see guys iOS device well, now see this is ITSW guys here this one see 7.1.2 this is a 11 B 257 so this IPSW I have kept already in my hard disk so simply I have to go for flash before flashing I have to extract the whole all the data that is available so just I will come on I have to come on 3 utils guys sorry on a tiny umbrella so just have a come in a shares and tiny umbrella so this is a tiny umbrella that I have already installed in my laptop so let's see Fine, it's open guys now. Now it's connected. iPhone 4. I have to go for fetch it guys. Fine, just have to go for here. I have to go for reset firstly, then then I have to come on a actions. In actions just I have to come on a create. In create I have to type here. ECID and UDID. So how we will get uh, information? Yeah, number of uh, ECID and UDID. So just I will click on a uh, three tools. We will get information from here. Just I will click on a device in device. This is ECID guys. Just I copy it and I have to paste on a tiny umbrella here. ECID and uh, here I have to paste UDID. This is the procedure how to connect a tiny umbrella to extract the whole old data that is available. So I have to come on a three tools once again and I have to copy this. It should be verified guys. So it's a verified here. So just I will copy from here. I will memorize and I will enter here UDID number. Now I have to go for here. So I will keep it thus. Which one phone is there? So this is a product type is a iPhone three comma one. So just I copy from here and uh, I will enter. Fine. This is a guys. Fine. Now here I have to write in a, a small letter I. Then I have to write here capital letter. Then P H O N iPhone. Now I have to go for create it. Fine. Now, here I have to select this iPhone 4 and I have to go for fetch it. So it has a started to fetch. Now it's a fetching, guys. See SSHS. So now, see, guys, it's working now. So just it's a 8% is done. 37% is approximately done so just I have to 
minimize it and I have to come immediately on through your tools and I have to come on a plus jailbreak and here just I have to select in this beta and I have to click on green color plus so yes I would like to go for it it's asking guys be sure the connection between the PC and your iPhone there should be a genuine USB cable means data cable that should be a good otherwise your phone might be stuck so just I will go for flash it now immediately so see guys here it's a 10 percent is done it's a it's costly it will take a 10 to 20 minute guys here so see if you would like to do a same things with the help of the iTunes then you have to keep your iPhone device in a DFU mode now it has started to reboot guys let's see this all software is auto detection so that's why it's going to now my phone is rebooting here yeah? and it has gone automatically in DFU mode see one thing guys if you would like to do same thing with the help of the 3 auto sorry with the help of the iTunes then you have to keep your iPhone device in DFU mode first then you have to download from 3 tools this IPSW that should be a flash green sign that I have already shown you that's beta and uh, after downloading then manually just you have to keep your cell phone yeah iPhone device in DFU mode with the help of just you have to switch off your phone then you have to press the home button just you have to hold the home button and press the on off switch button it will go in a iTunes logo mode will reflect on your screen of your iPhone device and then it will go in DFU mode DFU mode then you have to come on uh, iTunes and uh, there you have to select the manually there's IPSW and then it will start to flash but more efficiency working of course uh, a speed will give you yeah of course by virtue of three tools you will be able to get so here is costly then uh, 21% uh, let's see situation of tiny umbrella fine that's uh, this one's last six ones and you have to go for fetch this one's now see it's preparing and it will start to fast the whole so guys here last one this is a very important to fetch SSSS so it's a just to see 12% is 25% is going so now this one we have to remove so this hold all data all data is uh, coming here and this one on the other side I am uh, flashing I am replacing the new data so let's see what will happen we have to wait guys till the completion absolute hundred percent until unless it's not going to reflect here congratulations and after hundred percent then I will show you if the last one with the help of the one software this is a for you Kato how you will terminate this is a for you tool guys so Thirty percent is done. See, guys, uh, while you're proceeding this uh, whole procedure, if you face any kind of the problem, you have to address the query below the comment box. I will reply as soon as possible according to your query but similar procedure you have to execute and I assure you handy I assure you 99% guys you will be able to get a good outcome good result 
because sometimes one person is Apple authorities will trust, yeah, Apple server will trust and uh, it will cast the iCloud linked, but here yeah, that's why I'm saying uh, just you have to flash with the help of the three tool guys. Otherwise, in our iTunes, there might be a problem, guys. Here, so that's why with, uh, just to do flashing with the help of uh, especially three tools. Now, I was on especially here, there's uh, for you hit tool, guys. Now, see. We have a two options. One is a uh, unlock a screen passcode, and one is a uh, Apple ID password. So it will be a functional after flashing, guys. So just uh, if I click here at the moment, it's not going to functional. See, so that's why I have to wait, and I have to wait till reboot of this. So we have here one option to remove the lock screen passcode of any iOS device. Any iOS device means below 11 guys. It won't be a functional. This software is not working for iOS 12 yeah, iOS 13. So Visio and here this is a unlock Apple ID. Remove the Apple ID. So if you remove the Apple ID password automatically will wipe out so guys. So this will work. I will show you here till the completion of this. So let me minimize it and we have to wait till the completion of the absolute 100%. So keep watching guys. And I assure you if you face any problem guys for execution, a proper way, all the procedure, then you have to write the query below the comment box guys. I assure you 100% that you will be able to get a good corollary, good outcome by this way for any Apple device guys at the present time some one customer brought in this iPhone 4 at my shops and that's why actually I decided to I was then looking guys but I decided to record because of might be assistful might be helpful for my viewer or my channel and that's why actually that we know that this is a old one so but however similar strategy you have to execute in any able device guys 80 percent is done and the sending base baseband data so let's see at the present time my phone is in a totally in dead mode <laughs> let's see what will happen guys See one thing guys, don't make any movable of your data cable as well as your iPhone or device. There should be movement, there shouldn't be any movement of your iPhone and our laptops, your data cables, otherwise might be stuck on a stuck mode of your iPhone device. Then guys, almost 82% is there. Um, let's see the tiny umbrella situation. It's uh, completed or not. Fine guys. This one is a uh, facing uh, still now completed at all. So this one is a very important last one. Sorry guys. I'm using the no 8.1s and that's why I'm having this problem. See guys. One thing I would like to tell you, if the tiny umbrella is not going to functional in your PC or laptop, just you have to download Java. So if you install a Java, then after installing the Java, you have to install tiny umbrella. This one's I will give you link. You can download directly from there. It will be a functional, but Java is a very important because tiny umbrella will work on the basis of tiny sorry on the basis of a java so you have to install java also then tiny umbrella will work guys 89% is done 99% is guys now create creating system key back guys let's see what will happen See guys.
guys what we have extracted old data with the help of yeah by virtue of the tiny umbrella that has been replaced with the help of the three utils thus I brought new one IPS develop with the help of three util guys so it has been replaced now let's see what will happen now see guys new Congratulations, clean, class completed, fun. Now my phone has started to reboot. And Apple logo is on the screen of my iPhone device, fun. Now, just let it minimize it and we have to wait till, we have to wait guys till Sorry, we have to wait guys, it's rebooting, so I have to wait till the completion of it. So if we see the iTunes situations, yeah this one see, this all has been because it's at the present time rebooting, so all is uh, disconnected at the present time, see, but when it will complete rebooting then automatically it will detect here so guys here when there will be completions of uh, yeah, when your rebooting will be completed immediately you have to go for this for your key tool and here just we have to click so uh, still it's rebooting guys so let's see just here we have to click so fine welcome to new phone fine let's see fine we have to select these ones so I have to wait fine all right Just I have to go for OK. Fine. See guys, here now, what do you have to do? What we have to do here? Just we have to come on. Apple ID password because now Apple logo has been started to come on my this iPhone device so just I will go for unlock fine now see guys it's supportable so just I will go for start it let's see what will happen now see it's the saying that removing the Apple ID so I have to wait till the completions. Let's see what is the situation of item. Sorry, this has been now my phone is disconnected. It's rebooting, of course. This phone is in a rebooting, so let's see. Fine, now item automatically detected. Welcome to new phone. Fine. Let's see. Yeah, see. It's removing, so I have to wait till the completion. The whole procedure at the end time, it will take a scarcely five minutes. So let's see. This is a felt because white issue disconnected, so might be. Let's see, I have to go back and once again, I have to go for. This is on a new phone, so I have to go for continue it. Let's see what will happen. It's not going. We continue now. Fine, it's going to sensing. So I think it has removed finally. 
brackets here. Here. Now once again phone is very good in guys. Show. Might be this didn't disconnect it. No. Fine. I will go phone. Cancel it. Let's see. I will go for. Fine. Waiting for changing applied. Fine. It's failed. So guys, let's see it's removed or not. Finally, if I go for a started, fine. It's here. See, it's gone. But why it has given a fail at the hub? Because might be it's uh, clean. That's why, guys. No need to these firms for UQ for UK to house automatically it has because this is old one guys that's why it has taken already no need to here not to require of the for UK to all guys automatically it has gone now see this ones finally items of course I will be able to assess this ones easily so let's see I will go for creation of uh, so I have to go for Directly, of course, if you want, then I can just I will come on an account and sign in. Let's see what will happen. It has gone, guys. Now, see, I can here enter my Apple ID because let me once again connect this iPhones because. Fine. Now see guys, it's activated. It was in active mode in initial time. Now it's activated. If I go for device verification, still both is abnormal, but however it's working guys. So finally I have done guys here, see, it's activated more now, on the time it was a uh, inactive mode but now it's, now, see, let me have once again, connect to these ones. Now see, it's activated guys. So, just let me just see now this iPhone is connecting here. Let's see. Fine. I will go for cancel it now. backing up so let's see what will happen now of course guys this phone is working so just I will go for here I start it now let's see it's done guys finally let's see this one's now it's working at all so of course I can import export the any iTunes songs of course the ringtones everything guys now see I can import and we can add suppose if I go here this song I have added here and I will go for applying so if I don't then just if I go for apply here 
there's no doubt guys it's working at all now in this phones and it's a lot of fine so guys see if automatically removed then not required of this for you kit all otherwise you can go for but this uh, this phone was old one guys so there was not required of the for you kit holes without using for you kit holes actually i terminated this ones now this iTunes is properly working and if i show you once again guys see this is your guys iphone and finally I see now it's activated on the time it was in act inactive similarly in uh, this one here it's activated means find my phone has been turned off so it's in act inactive but uh, now once again i would like to show you here see it will come in a uh, inactive mode because finally it's working my this device now it's activated three controls fine if i show you here see it's activated fine if i show you this item sorry item let's see here is a showing so fine it's asking to update this iTunes guys so at the moment I'm not going that's why here it's backing up fine let's see now there is not a coming activation log that's this phone is linked with that so there is no any ID in this without ID it's working so just I will click here now see iPhone 4 is working now scene is already there so now just I will come on a music let's see whatever I have added in iTunes let's see I will go for done entire let's see what will happen it's the same that you have changed the setting of that so just I will go for apply it now see no problem just to go for ok so guys there is no any iCloud is linked with this iPhone so now it's permanently and smoothly is working at all just I want to show you also that iTunes is working or not with this device because it might be in a hardware problem that's why so let's see now finally done guys see now this song is coming on this device this is a device guys this iPhone 4 7.1.2 iOS is working at the present time now song is coming so finally it's unlocked completely there is no any id is without any apple id it's this device is working completely guys if i go in authorization yeah sign in of course we can create here any apple id and password by creating new one yeah if you have of course you can so guys Huge congratulations to all my viewers. Of course, similar processor you have to execute, you will be able to terminate. And good news that there was not a require of the for you kettles. Without using for you keto, we have terminated this one. So because as we know that this was an old one phone, so might we Apple server wouldn't trust of that so so guys now it's a completely working so
this is all about in this video tutorial guys and uh, still if you face any problem in anywhere step by step just you have to execute and wherever you face any problem you have to raise the query below the comment box i will reply that's how you will solve this problem guys so this is all about in this video tutorial guys now see itunes properly working of course i can go for movies also and i can select the all and of course i can Yeah, see, automatically I will select and this all will come now. Just I will go for them. So whole song is coming guys here. Just I will go for apply it. Fine. Now see, it's working at all. So now iTunes is working without any ID and phone is also completely working guys. So this is all about guys. Thank you very much. Have a great time. If you face any inquiry, then you have to raise guys. I assure you, I will reply as soon as possible according to your query. And if this video has acknowledged in any way to terminate the permanent like cloud, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and likes and leave the comment below the comment box as a feedback also. So thank you guys. Have a great time. Thank you very much.